All the living beings on the earth share a common evolutionary thread. A genetic language that is universal, yet able to create a cosmos of biological diversity. This diversity is the expression of hereditary traits passed from generation to generation. With the identification of plants as the first link of the food chain, humans have observed these traits in plants and implemented their knowledge to breed and domesticate them. Passing through the test of time, the human race has identified, selected, tended and utilized the variations among the plant species. A seed is not just a seed, but a representation of a species with record of all the versions of its DNA sequence. This wealth of diversity found among and within the plant species is called plant genetic resource. Plant genetic resources for food and agriculture are the backbone of agriculture as they carry the genetic material of plant. Conservation of these varied combinations of genetic codes embedded in diverse PGRFA is imperative for present and future of all living things on earth. In 1920, the Russian geneticist Nikolai Vavilov discovered the value of this genetic variability and identified the centers of origin of cultivated plants across the globe. Today, the world is growing a more diverse array of crops than ever before. Yet four crops, soya bean, wheat, rice and maize, are being grown on almost half the world's agricultural lands while the remaining 152 crops cover the rest. During the past century, plant genetic resource conservation has become increasingly important as part of the world's food crops has disappeared forever. In response to the threat to biological diversity, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations created a consensus on the protection of plant genetic resources by chartering an instrumental piece of legislation. The International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. The core objective of the treaty emphasizes on conservation and sustainable use of PGRFA establishment of a global information system to provide easy access to genetic materials to farmers, breeders and the scientists. Recognition of the immense contribution of farmers in generating diversity in crops. Assurance of benefit sharing from the recipients using genetic materials. Today, 149 countries as contracting parties are ensuring the conformity of laws, regulations and provisions of the treaty. They are actively undertaking survey and collection of plant genetic resources, promoting in situ and ex situ conservation, protecting farmer rights over PGR, steps to minimize and eliminate threats to PGR effect with implementation of a multilateral system for germ plasm exchange under the treaty. Farmers and scientists across the globe now have access to a wide array of seeds collected, maintained, conserved and analyzed by the national and global gene banks. As one of the 12 mega gene centers of the world, India stands at the forefront of international negotiations on PGRFA. India has a rich heritage of biodiversity, encompassing a wide spectrum of habitats, from tropical rainforests 
to alpine vegetation and from temperate forests to coastal wetlands. But what brings the country closer to the aspiration of plant gene conservation is a rich tapestry of culture woven around crop cultivation and harvest. भारत उन बहुत कम देशों में से एक है जहां जंगलों का विस्तार हो रहा है अपनी बायोडायवर्सिटी के संरक्षण और संवर्धन के लिए भारत पूरी तरह संवेदनशील है On the threshold of GB9 India seeks all the stakeholders and the guardians of germplasm conservation to celebrate the spirit of unity in diversity